So after you know the performance y'all just had against at Chattanooga, does that you know kind of you know put more fuel to the fire per se going into this Iron Bowl to you know to I guess just play better on defense, play more dominant? I want to say that's more fuel to the fire. I mean, there's a lot of things that we needed to work on coming out of this game. So we're going to work on you know to prepare for Auburn and you know get ready for a great physical game. John, we talked about the hateful guys uh, on defense. Is there like a little more hate for Auburn? Uh, I, I want to say there's a little more hate. Honestly, we hate all the SC team, you know, especially the Brown. So, so it's, it's going to be a fun game. We're excited. I'm excited. You know, it's def definitely for the seniors being our last one. You know, going to go out there and try to make it a special one. What do you think the legacy is going to be for you guys this this senior class when it's all said and done? I don't know. It is going to depend on how we finish the season. You know, so that's going to be the biggest part. Coach Saban always says you remember by how you finish. So, can determine how the season plays out for us. How much does that does that drive you guys? You know what. I mean, you guys control what your legacy is ultimately going to be. How much of a motivating factor is that? I mean, it is a motivating factor, but I mean, there's so many other things that we're focused on. You really don't think about it when you're going through it. It's something you think about afterwards. Is there a difference playing there and here? You've played a bunch of them now. Is um, home field, does it matter? I mean, I know it matters some, but is it relative to what we would make it out to be? Um, honestly, not really. Like Coach Saban always says, all, all that matters is when you, if you win the green and that, you know, if you win this out the. And on the football field, you know, the fans don't go out there and play no double teams or make tackles. So it's, it's about what we do. And, you know, it's going to be a physical bunch, and uh, we're not we're not expecting our to be rattled by our fans. I mean, our fans are going to be loud, but you know, it's, it's about how we execute. How aware are you guys of what they're doing over the course of the season? Do you guys pay attention at all to them? Well, you, you mean, you, 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 we, we're all fans of football, so you know, we all watch games and we all see what's going on. But we, we control what we control, and that's playing good defense. Jonathan, what, I guess, emotions do you have just with regards to this is your last game with Brian Daniel? Honestly, I, I'm really haven't been thinking about it too much. It's going to be sad, but, you know, honestly, the same emotions I've been having all season. Just want to go out there and do my job and execute. Is working against uh, Trent Richardson in practice, is that kind of a good warm-up for a guy like Camp Petway, just another big physical runner? Oh, definitely. I mean, you mean it's very, uh, very few you get to go against guys like Trent Richardson. So uh, it was good practice for us, good preparation. You know, we enjoyed it. We really did. A tough couple. He's going up against a guy like Camp that way. Is that for you as a D line? Uh, is that something that's exciting? A big guy like that to go up against? Oh, definitely. Whenever we go against physical backs, you know, it's always fun, especially for us defensive guys. We we just love physical games and the physicality that gets us excited. So we're gonna be ready for the game on Saturday. Thanks, Sean.